and welcome to the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft on the PS5 with a short video today to show you how an NPC can give named and enchanted items following the changes made to the execute command. Essentially various syntax have been added to the command including at, as, positioned, if and unless to name a few. These make the command function much better in terms of how we want the command to work. We can target players and entities, locations and type of entities and blocks gives the player more control in what the command can now do. If you'd like to head straight to the command change, you can check the timestamp in the description. Otherwise, let's make a start on how we set things up. We have an enchanting table and anvil to enchant and rename the item, a structure block to save the item, and of course, the NPC we will use. First, we will rename the item, and here we will use a wooden sword that will be renamed to a training sword. When you rename the item, we can also alter the colour of the text using the section symbol. You can experiment with various colours using numbers and letters after the section symbol. If required, then you can enchant the item too. So let's take whatever level 3 enchant is available. Ok, we are ready to save the item using the structure block. Use the chat bar and type the on-screen command to obtain one. Firstly, drop the item within the frame of the structure block. You can adjust the size of the frame using the X, Y and Z values. Give the item a name that will be used later in the command using the NPC. So make sure it's easy to remember. We will use TS for training sword. Ensure include entities are selected as the sword is an entity. Then hit save. We don't need the sword, so now let's sort out the NPC. If we click edit dialog, we can give the NPC something to say to the player. In the advanced settings, we can add commands that the NPC can complete, and unlike the command block, an NPC can follow multiple commands. For the NPC to give the player our item, we need the execute command. We will activate the command using a button selection, and the command itself will be as follows. Execute, at, at p, run structure load, ts for the structure name, followed by tilde, tilde, tilde. You will need to fully exit the NPC for the command to be confirmed and then we can test it's working. Ok, we'll have it working for the nearest player to the NPC. We can target the person clicking the button by using at initiator in place of at p. Now let's test that's working. I hope this has helped clear up any issues that you are having getting this to work. I will further to this video have an update video for the quest series, a quest to repair all quests if you will. Thanks for watching and take care.